Hey folks, welcome to 7 Let's Play 7 Days. I am your host, Crychex, and this is my nightmare. If you haven't figured it out by the title, this is LSD Dream Emulator for the PlayStation, the original one. So the graphics aren't overwhelming, so to speak. They are kind of overwhelming if you're if you're thinking about taking LSD and watching this, which I wouldn't recommend because I don't endorse drugs. I mean, I have I, I see this every night when I go to sleep anyway, so I I don't need drugs to see this. This is in fact every nightmare I've had. I, I close my my eyes and I see the opening cinematic to LSD Dr Dr Dream Emulator. This was created complete with the tracking at the very bottom, like you're watching this on a. VHS or something. I guess the creator wanted to be as realistic or at least as close to his LSD dreams as possible. And of course he's at, has different interpretations of what LSD really means. Like leisure? Le no, that's that's not what it means. I, I forget the, psych the, the term. I think he's just trying to justify making a video game about drugs. So I'm going to go ahead and start us off here. I, I don't know, it says shake option, but I don't have a dual shock controller. Mine's just a normal shock or not shock at all. I don't think there's a rumble pack or anything. I don't even know what dual shock means, but you hear that? I can make my own little music by going boom, boom, boom. Okay, so we're going to give give this a go a go. And I do apologize for the 2 weeks I took off of doing a Tuesday update. I've been working on my own channel, which uh, I I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a shout out. Go go check out my normal channel. I have got I've got a couple of let's plays up, um, but I'm gonna try to be more regular about my Tuesday updates on this channel. Uh, the re but the reason I'm doing this this is uh, kind of a one shot deal because next week. Or maybe even the week after. I don't know yet. I'm going to get a game. I haven't bought the game yet. And um, once I get it, I'll start the, the Let's Play specifically for 7 Let's Play 7 Days. I'm not sure how it's going to work out. I hope it works out well. I'll have to see about maybe doubling up. Because just the type of game it's going to be. But I just want to entice you guys. You know, whet your appetites. Have something to look forward to. So I should probably explain a little bit of what's going on here. I would try, but I'm not even really sure what's going on here. I think those are ghosts. Moving statues or something. Okay, so I was in a room. It seems like anytime you touch an object, you're immediately teleported away to a random place. Right now we're in uh, feudal Japan with ghosts just floating around. It's like Harry Potter. You have uh, the spooks throughout Hogsworth. Hogwarts? Why do I say Hogsworts? I don't do it deliberately, I'm just an idiot. But I am actually playing this on a PSX emulator. What is that? What is that? I'm scared. There's no way of strafing, you just kinda have to move over. There's a ghost that's coming after me. He's trying to touch me. There's a ghost trying to come straight after me. Okay, you go away. Alright. Yeah, this is the land of spirits. You never know what you're gonna run into here. Uh, hopefully I don't run into a wall. Actually, I didn't even move over like that. But uh, Okay, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Is that dreaming? Am I dreaming? Do I have bad polygons in my head? The bed. Show me on the doll where the bad polygons touched me. There's a river over here. But really, this is no more nightmarish than like falling asleep every night to Thomas the Train. the With Percy and the Thomas... That show's nightmarish. You want to see a really crazy show, go check that out. Yes, this is in fact a foot. A statue of a foot. That's what I was trying to say. Complete with footprints. Is that what this called? Is that called footprints? Like, you know how you have like uh, fingerprints? Like thumbprints? I thought footprints were just the little tracks that you make in the sand. Can I look down? No, I can go back, but I can't look down. Uh, exciting stuff here, guys. Can you see? Can you see the textures on this brick wall that we're quickly approaching? Can you see how it just kind of abruptly ends? Everything's 
so symmetrical. It is. It's much more than just a bad dream. It's a badly made game. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good game or not. And we have like a uh, a geisha here floating down the river. Maybe we can go into the river, get kisses from her. Probably not, though. Is that... Uh, ugh. Could you just imagine waking up into a world like this where people are missing faces? And there's, like, statue-looking, like, people that are just kind of rolling the boat down the river, flashing water all over the place. You know, are you guys getting a little sick of the design here? We can go ahead and touch this wall. Maybe it'll teleport us to another place. Or maybe I'll do nothing. Let's just do let, let's just do nothing. I, I swear if you touched any like just something, it'll warp you away. I must be mistaken. Let me lay back here. I'm I'm trying to lay back a little. My my back hurts. I went to the orchestra last night. And um actually, okay, get way ahead of myself. I went and worked out yesterday evening. I went to the gym and I got on one of those little bicycle machines, you know, that's supposed to get your heart rate up. See if I can touch this. Yep, there we go. But I was on the bicycle machine. I was going like 90 miles per hour. Only not really. I don't. I don't know. But I was going pretty fast. And you know, my knees were just like. And I, I, for some reason, I hear my friend Becca. I've never been here before. I hear my friend Becca. She she would say like, Hey, hey, how did that go again? And then I had to repeat myself, and then she just laughed. So I don't know if that's just a way of her trolling me, or if she really wants me to hear like hear me repeat it. How about, wait, 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 how'd that go? And what do you do? What do you say to that? You're like, no, I'm not going to tell you this time. Man, I feel like she like gets some hot dogs here or something. What do we got here? What, 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 what's there? What, what pixels? Is that my computer making that noise? There's a bloop, bloop, bloop noise, and then there's a techno beat. Kind of sounds like something that you'd hear at the gym that I went to. It's kind of like the cheap gym, you know? It's like 10 bucks a month. And the machines, the machines are in pretty good shape. It's just the crowd that hangs out there is usually kind of. It, uh, what's going on? Oh, I woke up. I'm a downer. Actually, this kind of <laughs> since this is an emulator, it tries to tell you like where you rank as far as uh um on the dream scale, the dream scale sequence. I guess we can go ahead and start day two now. How about that? And I think this just kind of resets us. I don't know if it's gonna put us right in the middle of. Oh, this is new. What is this? I've never had this dream before. Wow, this is engaging. Okay, I was going to talk bad about this game. The last time I played this, it was a completely different experience than I'm playing it now. Like, I feel like I'm stalking small children in Japan. It's like you can just reach out and, t and caress his bottom while taking out a, uh, a glass uh, fuse. It's like, we're going to put this to good work. <laughs> that was a very weird dream. It was kind of like so-so on the dream scale. I wonder if I could, like, if anybody's hacked this game and looked at all the cinematics. Because that was, in fact, a pre-rendered video that wasn't planned or anything. All right, let's see. What what else do you have for us? Are we watching our videos? Two videos in a row. That would be kind of crazy. But we're not. We wake up in another house. It's the same house. It's always the same house we're waking up in. Different music, different fluorescent lights. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sometimes there's stairs here too. Can you hear how loud I am stomping on the floor? Oh, there's a dragon. I can't do anything. The dragon's spot me, touching me in inappropriate places. No, I am in Greenland. I am in freaking Surge Land. Oh, surge. Taste the surge. Feel the surge. Feel it run throughout your body. It's like, alright, he's on the green. It's putting up. This is truly an experience. I wish, folks, I wish I could say there was a point to this game, but there, there really isn't. I've actually seen this level before. It's kind of like when you have those repeating dreams. You think everything... You're like, wait a minute, is this deja vu? Have I been here before? Is this, in fact, Mario Kart or Turok or Rage Wars or something? Yeah, I don't know what the new Turok is. Oh, no, there's that thing again. Shit, I'm, I, I can't... I, I'm paralyzed. Let's see if I can walk away from him. Okay, he just came out to scare us. 
Pterodax, I was just flying around. What is this, Silent Hill? Again, a little shout out to my other Let's Play I'm doing on my actual channel. I hope this isn't too loud. It seems like the volume got a little bit louder, and I am freaking out right now. Because my guy's running. He's running like the beast. Okay, I'm actually not pressing forward. He's just freaking out here. Okay, we're zoning. We're zoning to a new zone. What is at the end of this tunnel? Folks, folks, could this be the world of Minecraft? Could it? Hmm. I think that's a tree I see over there. I think the longer I hold the button down, the faster I'll go. It's like snowballing, like when you snowball down a hill. Not when you do something. I'm not, I'm not going to go into that, but... Oh, it looks like we're in the wonderful land of Oz. It's like, which way should I go? It's like desert this way, grass this way. It's like one huge sand trap if you go play in golf. You know, I'm so bad at miniature golf, I, I somehow end up in the sand trap every time. This does kind of look like Minecraft, just the way it's laid out. I, I'm sure it wasn't meant to look like this. Minecraft was actually meant to look pretty pixelated. Whoa! I'm sure you don't have like animals just appearing and then shrinking in front of you. you see that? It's like huge and then you just shrunk. It's the first time I said anything about these animals. Wow. Do I have to walk so loud? I, I wonder if that's the effects of the drugs that are in my head right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take a drink from the flashing water. Maybe it'll make me flash. Oh. This is intense. I wonder if it's supposed to do that. Like, I don't know if it's possible to get an actual copy of this game. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no. Oh, no, I touched something. That didn't look like I touched something, did it? Did it look like... Oh, great. I'm in fun land. It looks like I'm frozen... Like, frozen Tetris. Tetris. Oh, man. Sorry, I'm tired. What is that thing? Right, look over there. Oh, Wow. If this isn't annoying enough, we we get to hear little squeaky noises every time we walk. It makes you just want to plow your ears out with a uh, Q-tip. I guess that's not the term that you should use when you're cleaning your ears out. Is it called Q-tipping? Is that the correct term, the correct verb for removing earwax using Q-tips? What is this, a wall? I can't go any further? Oh, I just didn't try hard enough. I, I don't know. It, it, it To me, this just looks like a badly designed game that's dressed up as like, no, it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to be weird. It's supposed to be like you're on LSD, man. You know, with the flashing red water. If I have epilepsy or have a migraine, I just want you guys to know that I did... Uh, it's because I love you guys. I love you so much that I'm playing a game... This horrendous, this scary, this frightening. Look at those eyes. They just kind of like stare right through me. Kind of intense. Oh, well, look. We're progressing through the days pretty fast, aren't we? I guess this is just a, uh, a roughly a four and a half minute day here in LSD Dream, Dream Emulator Land. Where are we now? It's kind of like the same set before where we're in the house. But everything's different. We have, like, some crazy drums playing. This kind of reminds me a little bit of the 90s. Games that you'd see in the 90s, at least. I don't know when this game was made. I guess I should have done the research before I tried to play it for you. I feel like I'm climbing the leaning tower of pizza. <sighs> okay, up. Oh, great. I got to turn again. Up. Okay, I got to turn again. Can you imagine this if I had to use, like, both... Uh, analog sticks on this. Right now I'm just using the digital pad to turn. Is it dig? Huh. Is it the D-pad. It's either digital or directional pad. Me and my buddy Jesse were actually getting into a debate about this. Only not really. It wasn't really much of a debate. I know he said something on one of his Let's Plays about it. And then I had, uh, he's like, yeah, whoever calls it digital, like, I'm gonna have to fight you. Yeah, I'm like, well, I guess we're gonna have to fight because I call it digital. And he's like, that's unfortunate, but I will still fight you. Yeah, I don't care. Okay, so it's full moon out tonight in feudal Japan. Futile Japan. What? Oh, great. The moon blinded me with science. What a downer. 
Now it's flashing me. I, I I truly do not know the point in this game, folks. Folks, 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 I don't know. Do you guys know? Chime in, chime guys, if you if you know the point of this game, please chime in, let me know. Because it's like it's like every time I wake up, it seems to be a medicine cabinet right there. Or is that like the window to outside world? I can never tell. Let's open the window up. Get another flashy flash in our eye. Oh, great. This is just what I asked for. It's like the start of... Oh. Oh. Start of a David Bowie video or something. Whoa. Put on your red shoes and dance. Oh, look. There's a comet shining right over there. Excellent. There's There must be some movement. I thought that was like Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster or something right there. If you believe in that sort of thing. Music designer's like, let's just punch a bunch of, like, some notes on the synthesizer, and then, like, crank up some rubber duckies, and uh, and just splash around in the bathtub. It'll be like Mario Kart gone bath time, if that makes any sense. Don't know what these shapes are on the ground. I have a feeling I'm supposed to go towards that blindy, blind star, that neutron star over there. It's kind of like... Reminds me of Final Fantasy VII when you have the meteor kind of like in the distance about crash into your uh, your planet that you're on that you're trying to save. What is this? This thing looks like it wants to give me kissy faces. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's get into that. Oh, we're back here. Now it's daytime. It's time to go to the market in Japan. It's like, howdy, ma'am. Don't mind me. I'm just going to walk through here and not make eye contact with you. So, do you do you folks, like, when, when you're walking down the hall, like, be it, like, at some public place where you, you see the same people every day, do you try to make eye contact as you pass people? Like, I, I mean, I don't know how... how how it is in your mind, but like sometimes you're just like, okay, I'm I'm pretty busy. I don't want to be rude, so maybe if I don't make eye contact with that person, I won't have to, you know, you know, won't be expected to like stop and talk to him. I mean, I'm not trying to be antisocial by any means. I'm just saying, like, you know, if you're on a mission, and like you're like, I, I've I've got to get to, I've got to get to Subway. I've I've got to get myself a five dollar foot long, and. I just know if I look at this person, they're gonna want to stop and talk and say how my ask me how my day is, and I, I just don't want to deal with. It. I just don't want to, have to say like, okay, well, how was my day? Uh, okay, I woke up, I put my shoes on, I uh, I got out of bed. I know, I, I put my shoes on before I leave my bed. That's just me though. Okay, okay, you're on a, like this person. They didn't make eye contact with me. They're on, they're, they're they're just on a mission. But anyway, yeah, put my shoes on. Get out of bed, take a shower. Uh, yeah, my my day. So maybe that's why I'm a little bit weird when I'm actually out in public, and people want to talk to me. I'm just like, okay, well, what am I missing? It's like I haven't I haven't got my subway sandwich yet, so obviously I can't talk to you yet. So I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe I'm just weird like that. Now that I'm actually saying this out loud. And recording it for a Let's Play, I feel like I really have problems. I feel like I should really get that checked out. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you guys for now because I, I, I'm gonna seriously talk to somebody about this because obviously uh, I, I've got some issues to work out. So hopefully next week I'll have my new actual Let's Play started. If not, I might have another one shot. Uh, I mean, I hope it's entertaining. I don't know. I don't know what this was. I hope it was. I'm just trying to get stuff. I'm I'm really just trying to like you know get stuff up there. Let you guys acknowledge that I st acknowledge to you guys that I still exist. I'm just crazy. I must be crazy because I'm seeing like the, the what, wait. Is that am I is is that what what what? Let me get over here. Are you seeing this right now? Is that like a giant gray chicken doing a creeper walk what is this